really important to calibrate your GP Smart internal compass. To do this, you need to make sure that the boat and the electric trolling motor are in the water. Also make sure that there's no land, bridges or any obstructions around so that you can complete the calibration process very simply. Then you just need to press the M button, just like this. Then what you need to do is you need to make sure that the electric trolling motor is lined up with the keel of the boat. In order to do this, just press the 4 and the 2 to line it up with the keel facing forward. Then to put it into the calibration mode, you want to hold down the M button and the T button for 5 seconds until it beeps like that. Then what you need to do is start your outboard engine and then drive in two full rotations using your outboard for propulsion. These rotations need to last for about 20 to 30 seconds, so do them nice and slowly. Once you've completed two full rotations, the system will beep to let you know that the calibration process is complete. Well, I've just heard the beeps from the system, which means I can stop my rotation because now I know that my GP Smart electric trolling motor is in perfect calibration and will always know exactly where I am. The next stage is to calibrate the centre line and we'll show you that now. A vitally important instruction that I'd like to share with you now is how to calibrate your GP Smart Water Snake trolling motor. Turn the engine on by pressing M, then you want to take it and you want to line up the propeller and the head of your trolling motor so that it's in line with the keel of your boat. Once you've done this, you need to hold down the forward and the reverse button simultaneously for five seconds. Now I have calibrated the trolling motor with the boat so that it always knows which way is forward. In case you're changing your GP Smart Water Snake trolling motor from one vessel to another, it's important to calibrate it each time you change it around. Otherwise, if you set it up for one boat, you do it once, you shouldn't have to change the calibration again.